Hey everybody, I'm Brad and this is Krista with the Big Family Homestead. She's my lovely bride. I'm so lucky. Anyway, we are going to be making homemade from scratch pizza. So here we go. So a lot of people have been asking us, they say, Brad, Krista, I've seen your video on how to make the dough and stuff and that's awesome. <laughs> Except, how do you do it? What do you do with your dough? <laughs> well, we're gonna show you. We're basically straight up pizza snobs. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> like you're not, you're ridiculous. So yeah, we have to make it from scratch. And, and well, here's the deal. If you're making actual pizza, the thing is the hotter the oven, the better. I, I know that in Italy, it's like 900 degrees that they cook this stuff at. It goes real fast, so first point is Make sure that you get your oven as hot as you can safely get it. Get a pizza stone. We're gonna show you all this stuff, but right now, let's get to the ingredients. We're gonna get cooking. All right, so in a previous video, which will magically appear here, a link or some whatnot, showed you how to make the dough. Now that the dough's made, what do you do with it? Well, we're gonna cut it up, measure it out, get it ready for making the pizzas. Ooh, apparently pizza does some things to some people. Now you just get your dough out of your bowl. You're gonna scrape all the nibbly bits off the side. Ooh, you're doing great, mama. Get all that dough over there, come on. Now you're gonna form it into a generally circular roundish ball. Look how she's rolling that in towards itself because she's gonna turn it upside down. So it makes this nice looking ball. Now, you're gonna cut this into sections based on the size of pizza you want, how many you want. We actually weigh ours out, that way they're nice and even. And then she's gonna roll these things. Look, she's tucking under. She pulls the dough so it kinda tucks it under. Think of it like a mushroom almost, that you're tucking it under there like that. And check it out again. And basically you're just trying to make a nice round ball and you tuck the imperfections underneath. And this is what you get. This is what ours looks like, but you can make them whatever size you want. Now you're gonna cover this with a nice damp, warm cloth that keeps it from getting nasty. All right, so now we've got our dough ball fully secondarily raised. We're putting it into the uh, flour. And you do this because you don't want it all sticky. If it's sticky, you need to add a little flour. All right, now that we've got it in a generally localized uh, circular <laughs> shape kind of thing. Well, here's the deal, by the way, too. We are not Italian, nor do we play one on TV, one, or ones on TV. We're just people who really like pizza. And so we don't do the flippy thingy in the air because, well, frankly, we'd put eyes out and it would be, well, just plain silly. So what Krista's doing here is she's just trying to keep that dough in a nice circular shape, rolling it out with a rolling pin, making sure there's plenty of, of flour on there so that there's not going to be any stickage. And my camera tripod is leaving me. I'll come back with another shot. Now that you've got it in a full size pizza, you know, I mean, we're talking definitely like 14 inches there. It's a nice thin crust, but it's not too thin because you want to have some substance there. So now that that's ready, we're going to transfer it to a peel, a pizza peel. We're going to make sure that there's some, uh, what are they, corn, uh, corn, semolina, semolina, semolina uh, flour on there so it doesn't stick. And here is the semolina flour going on your pizza peel so it doesn't stick. Yay. Oh yeah. All right, now you're gonna carefully transfer your circular dough thingy, which will soon be pizza, onto your peel that has the semolina on it. Trying real hard to keep it in a circle. There you go. So now in our house, I am the assembler. So now it's my turn. We're actually gonna just make a basic pizza. We're talking the dough, sauce, cheese. You can do whatever you want, but that's, we're just going over the basic pie. So here we go. All right, so sauce goes down first. Spread it around. So now we've got it spread out real nice. It's time to move on to the cheesing. Bring on the cheesing. Here we go with our mozzarella cheese. This is gonna be delightful. Oops, I'll get you later. So now we got a pie that's ready for the oven. Here we go. So into the oven you go, as hot as your oven will safely do on a pizza stone. If you do not have a pizza stone, which is, well, pretty much shameful if you're making pizza at home, you can use one of these. 
Looky there. Check it out. Awesome. All right, so now here's the thing. I can't really tell you how long you need to keep your pizza in the oven because I don't know how hot you are making your pizza. I don't know what your oven will allow. Best bet, rule of thumb, let it in there for a few minutes and take a peek. Don't let all the heat out, but just keep an eye on it to whatever doneness you particularly like. So we've waited and we've waited and we've waited and it's time. Let's check out our delightful homemade pizza. Oh my lanta. I think I might have to have a little bit of ooh, all over me. So would you look at that delicious, delightful homemade pizza. Amazing. Let's take a bite. Would you take a look at this? This is going to be delightful. Oh, I can hear the crunch from over here. Look at there. Happy mama, happy pizza. Woohoo! Oh yeah. Even take a look at the backside. It is completely done. It does not take a long time if you get your oven really, really hot. So there you have it. Oh my gosh. Pizza made at home is delicious. And it's not that hard to do. It's a family thing. It's a lot of fun to do all together. And besides, you get to uh, get some smoochy woochies from your lovely bride. Anyway, Brad. Krista. With Big Family Homestead. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Have an amazing day. Yeah, that too. <laughs>